get in your own way. So, <laughs> what uh, what do you think he's trying to get across? Uh, definitely, me go up twenty or go up thirty, be able to put the put on the throws and be able to get good plays, good shots, and not try and turn into a selfish team. I think that's what we do when we start to get up. People start trying to get the wrong. The next thing you know, they're down eight. The coaches are trying to get us to when we get up by that much, be able to put your foot in the throat, be able to go up by 50 and just have fun. This coach's favorite question in that situation, why? Because he screams it all the time. Why did you oh, do yeah. that? Yeah, no, every time we take a stupid shot when we're up by 20, he's always asking why we're taking that shot, why we're not getting a good shot, running the offense. Playing good team ball because we're up by a twin. Why not make it 30? And next thing you know, they go down, hit a couple threes, and it's a it's a close game. How often does that happen? Oh, no, it's happened stupid year. shots, stupid shots. Yeah, it's happened a lot this year. I mean, there's a couple games we've been up 20 or 30, and dudes came back, and next thing you know, we're losing or they're only only down four. So this happened quite a few times. He's just trying to get us our mentality to change. What positives do you take out of this? Because you win by 20, 25, and he's still saying we're we're not a winning team. I mean, I think we, we played solid in the first half. I think we got we got to grow on that. Defensively, we're, we did really well in the first half. Second half, we gave up too many threes. But I think we're starting to gel as a team. Uh, dudes are starting to figure out how to play with Coach Cal. Uh, Nick had a really a solid game for us. Uh, we need him to have a really good effect in the, in the post for us to have a good season. So, I mean, a lot, a lot of players are stepping up and taking their roles, and I think we're getting better every game. Do you think there's a growing awareness that we're freshmen, baby. We're, uh, you know, we're not as good as we think we are. Yeah, like like Coach was saying, like I think we're something about one of the best defensive, defensive teams or something like that in the country. And uh, to us, we don't even think we're doing that well on defense. So, I mean, it shows that we have a lot more to think that we're showing. So, I mean, as freshmen, I mean, a lot of people are expecting so much, uh, so much less of us. But we got to be able to step up and uh, take role, of each other's role, and be able to play with each other. Every game, it seems like you guys have a spurt. Mm -hmm. You had a 13, 15 little spurt tonight. What was going well when you guys do go on a run, usually? Usually when we go on runs, it's because of our defense. Uh, one time, I think we had a block shot to a fast break. I think when I got a steal, I threw it in from out of bounds. I mean, every time we get stops on defense, block shots, steals, I mean, it just leads to great offense for us. We should be one of the best fast break teams in the country, but fast breaks don't start unless you get a stop on defense. So every time we get a stop on defense, I think, that turns into something good for us because I mean we're one of the most athletic teams in the country. That's how we got to excel at. Was there a play in the second half where Hami came down in transition? And it looked like he was starting to do a three sixty. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was that about? Yeah, no, Cal got on to him about that. Uh, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that we were up by fifty, so I mean we're only up maybe double digits, maybe like fifteen. So Cal's like, why would you do that? Man? Still a close game, so to go up and dunk the ball. Why are you trying to do a 360? Because if you miss it, then well, that looks bad on you. So I mean, he's just trying to get our mentality change. Why did he go finish up the 360? I think he, he slipped. Yeah, that. I think he slipped. Oh. I think that's what happened. I think he said he slipped, but he shouldn't have did in the first place. Yeah, he should have just went up and dunked the ball, get back on defense. Because if you miss it, then next thing you know, they go hit a three, and everything just changes. The game changes. So we got to dunk the ball, and just but lay it in, do whatever. Don't try to do 360. Nick Richards seems like he's a very quiet guy. He, he's got a deep voice. He got a technical. Do you think the other guy knew what he said to him? Because he. Was oh yeah, I knew. Oh uh, yeah, he knew what he said. Nick, Nick, he, he yelled that out loud. Uh, Nick don't really do that much, but it was good to see that side of him. Uh, I think uh, we were we were fine with it personally, but Coach Kai, I think he was a little mad, but we were fine with it to see that that temper he had when he dunked that ball. So that's something we need from him down low, especially as a big man. You gotta have a temper, and get mean sometimes, because it's gonna get physical down there. So it was good to see Nick get that dunk. I'm happy for him. That was a good dunk for him. We've seen Nick have good games. We've seen Sasha have good games. Was today you feel like the best they've played sort of at the same time? And, and you saw him play a little bit together. Could that big lineup? Uh, be dangerous for you guys. Oh uh, yeah, if we can get those two to play together. That would be really good for us. Cause Sasha he, at that four, he can knock down that mid-range shot, and so that would be good for us uh, to have him in the game with Nick. Those are two bigs that can really rebound, defend. So I mean, we got to work on those two getting some time because a lot this year we'll play some big teams that they'll have to play together. So it's good to see both of them playing really well. Uh, Nick starting to fill in and starting to do what he needs to do, rebounding and getting those hook shots, blocking shots, re dunking all that stuff. So he's starting to realize who he is, and then Sasha just hustling like Kyle wants him to do energy, defensive rebound. So it's good to see both those guys playing really well. They're both blocking shots. Is mm -hmm. that How much more confidence does that give you guys to maybe 
get out and, and defend guys on the perimeter if you get beat. You know, no, that's, be yeah, that's something. Yeah, that's something that can help us out as a team because you block shots, we get those fast break points. That's what we need because that's what we're best at. So we get block shots, steals, and stuff like that. I mean, that leaves the easy points. So it's good to get get them in there, blocking some shots for us. How do you feel like you're?